I'm about to make the funniest joke of my entire YouTube career. Thank you all for being here with me. What's happening, forum? <laughs> oh, that took me about eight takes. And it's given me a headache, but it was worth every second. You can go ahead and tell all those other YouTubers to shut themselves down. <laughs> it gets no better than here. Fuck, I'm not even sure I know what the joke's anymore. Hello, welcome to RimWorlds. Uh, if you didn't find that funny, you'll probably find the next thing maybe even slightly amusing. You might breathe heavily out of your nose. Yandere Dev is pregnant. <laughs> That's right. After years of attempts, after the two children naturally born to Reem were kidnapped, we finally have another natural Reeman citizen. Well, I mean, not including the one that Bubka uh, created yesterday. Yonder Dev, the only question remains, who is the father? I know you're not really supposed to. It's a little bit rude to just ask people that. Don't do it in real life. Uh, it is Theramines. Oh, no, one of the characters I haven't even renamed yet. Well, that's weak. All right, Baldor Hammer, you got the lucky draw there. The Hammer Dynasty is now officially part of Reem. You know, I think I'm going to take everybody's helmet off. But not in terms of, like, gameplay. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to remove that armor. What I mean is you can press this button here, and all of the hats on the top bar disappear. And oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that. The haircuts of Reem. This is what happens when you give a colony of people the ability to cut their own hair. What the fuck? Now, yesterday, we began the world domination of Reem. The world domination of Reem? Yesterday, we began Reem's world domination. That sounds a lot better. By making an alliance with Sparta. It's not quite yet a full military alliance, but they are at least our allies. If we're raided, if we're siege, and it goes on for a long time, they'll turn up and clap some cheeks. Now, today, I want to turn that into a full-blown military alliance. We have to pay them for their, for their support in our future campaigns against Carthage. And we'll probably end up doing the same thing with Athens as well. Because, quite frankly, if we don't, we are fucking dead <laughs> we are we are super dead and how do we offer a gesture to the people of sparta do we use our fine social characters to maneuver their way through the economic landscape do we use the skilled artisans and crafters of reem to produce treasures known throughout the world for their true reem and quality <gasps> heathcliff to answer the question you didn't have my straw man friend wine like a lot of wine. Obviously, we started work on this vineyard yesterday, but I thought we might as well go all in. Rimwald vineyards don't have to worry about spacing or plant growth or anything like that. You just throw them. A, 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 a. <laughs> and that's more or less all there is to it. If you have any questions, please send them to my Twitter. That's at Ambiguous Amphibian. Although I don't think it is, because I don't think that would fit. I'm not going to lie to you all. It is 5 a.m. right now. It's 5 a.m. I would have recorded earlier, but I live in the dark ages and I haven't had internet for three days now. And if you open RimWorld without internet, it resets your model list. So I've had to buy extra mobile data on my phone to be able to tether it to my PC, to be able to load up Steam, to be able to verify RimWorld. <sighs> this episode is a net loss for my bank account, but not for humanity. Ah, oh, I also made the food hole bigger as well. How could I forget? <laughs> by food hole, I'm not just talking about Elise. I'm going to whisper that one so she doesn't hear me. So now we've actually got room for all of these grapes and corn and lentils and corn and lentils and yak milk. Reem is famous for its fine yak milk. And I'm pretty sure I also did... Ah, oh, the swimming pool. How could I forget? Oh, there's no water left. I also got around to building that swimming pool. I've set it to fill a thousand liters an hour. Uh, it's been built for nine hours now and we've used up all the water in Reem. <laughs> <laughs> you think we'd be able to just divert the river, but that's that's not how these things work. Um, in that case, can I lower the fill rate? Uh, let's just let's just drop that down a little bit. That's okay. The, the aqueducts can't take it. What do we need? Do we need more pumps or do we need more wind turbines? Uh, I'm gonna build another wind turbine. Just be careful that the yaks don't walk into it, otherwise then we will have invented the world's most classical beef burger. I'm gonna put it like right there. I'll put it right there, and we're gonna aqueduct over to it. I'm gonna build another well right here this might surprise you i'm not a civil engineer i have no idea what i'm doing i still don't think we have a way to cool rooms do we i put the aqueduct in it because the aqueduct said oh it'll it'll cool a room and to be fair it has but only by three degrees a research researching cheese how is this not high priority alagabalas hey get on with it we could send them wine and cheeses the charcuterie alliance animal filth Heathcliff Six? How dare you? Heathcliff Six isn't filthy. That is a beautiful sacred creature of Reem. <laughs> I guess that means it's a holy shit. 
<laughs> oh, God, I need some sleep. Turkey, turkey, in the pen. Turkey, turkey, not a hen. Turkey, turkey, why are you dead? Turkey, turkey. All right, it's because I sliced off your head. Well, that's not a fucking dryad at all. I'm going to assume those two things are related, much like most of the people from Ohm's Colony. Hello, hostile scouting party with 1,764 combat power. Okay, uh, they're going to arrive in 0 0.2 days. Oh, by the way, 0 0.2 days later. Because, you know, I was just watching them grow grapes. A group of tribespeople from Galax Savages have arrived nearby. They're attacking immediately, but they intend to breach your walls. Uh, Vecco is the ex-lover of Macedonian swordsman Alcibiades the first. Wasn't that fucking great to know? It's actually nowhere near as bad as I thought. 21 of them. I guess just because it's a breaching raid, it gives them more raid points. Okay, I mean, good luck. Given which part of the map they're coming in from, I bet we could just pepper them with the scorpions anyway, right? Yeah, we absolutely can. <laughs> I think they're going to get through before we're able to, uh... Before we're able to kill any, but if we get some people on the other side of the wall ready to take them out, we can just shoot them from the... Hang on. You got a crossbow. Hey, join me here. They smashed a single wall block. Oh, they're through. Oh, uh, not. <laughs> they smashed the wall down and then just decided to walk back into the firing line. That's fucking great. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, three versus Elagabalus. Elagabalus is actually armed, though. Uh, We might want to divert a few from over here. Give me, give me these ones. Let's march you in. My yaks! Hey! All the fucking yaks are walking away. Oh, wait, are they fighting? The yaks are fighting. Oh, you fools. You have accidentally uncaught the end of yourselves. <gasps> Yak calf three. Well, is that... All they've done is walk in and bruise... Yalagabalus. And now walk away? Was this, was this raid worth it? I hope it was worth it. Oh, we actually got a survivor too. Wow, they're actually pretty good. Shooting seven double passion animals, 13. Submissive, fun-loving, greedy. Ooh. Oh, age 44. What a waste. We do have snake, though. Snake's age 25. Jan. Jan, 10 snake. And overall, a fantastic raid from the Gallic Savages. It just occurred to me they could have quite literally walked in <laughs> through the aqueduct. <laughs> oh, no. Is it Remus again? <gasps> it's Jan Deros. Wowee, congratulations, Jan Deros, my friend. You are now in charge. I say in charge. Remus is always in charge. You are just slightly more relevant now. Slightly more relevant at fucking up the governments of this here fine city. Holy crap, look. It's happening. The first wine of Reem. <laughs> suppose if you uh, don't count his two children, that is. Mash them grapes. Mash him, Remus. He's done a good mash. Hey, where's he taking it? Moron. That's supposed to go in the... What the fuck are they doing? We we'll just say throw on the floor because it is supposed to go in the fermenting barrel. I just assume we don't have enough yet to ferment it. Stockpile zone. Let's put it there. Then let's say critical and grape mash. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Uh, get that hauled. What, you, what the fuck are you doing now? Pick up some lentils. Okay. There must be somewhere else we could put the grapes. Oh, there we go. Look. Bamboo fermenting barrel. Boom, okay. So the ideal temperature is 7 degrees to 32 degrees C. Should be fine in there, I think. We haven't even finished plants in the field yet, and we've got um, 2,500 grapes. Oh, that's good. Oh, Nildraith. Developed a condition heart attack. Oh, my God. It's all down to Grover the house. No pressure. Are you even a doctor? Oh, well, I mean, you're an okay doctor. You're certainly not our best. Uh, Don't die, though. 69%. Nice. <laughs> is, that, is that appropriate? Oh! Come on. Neil Drace, don't you die on me. Otherwise, we've got to have a whole new Granlin connection. Then I'll have to grow some new dryads. It'll be a real pain in the ass. Or a pain in the... Pain in the heart. There you go. Classic Grove of the House. Now, we do also have a quest available for an EMI Dynamo for pay. But I almost feel like that's cheating because... Well, we haven't got any electronics. <laughs> I mean, we could do it, and then we could just give whatever we get to Sparta as a as a gift. Engraved thrombo horn, legendary. I'd rather just have fucking twenty six advanced components. Good lord, I'm I'm gonna take this because it's the most era appropriate, and it's about equal as valuable, right? Be easier to caravan over with it. <gasps> there was another. There may be an unknown threat. Oh shit. 
Oh, it's a pack of man-hunting polar bears. Of course it is. Of course it is. Uh, I don't want to alarm you all here, but there is a man-hunting pack of polar bears about to attack. Bizarro Jesus, Yandere, Dev, Lupus, and Baldor Hama don't have... Okay, right, hold on. Wait. Uh, and then we put Bizarro Jesus here. It's fine. See, it's fine. We're going we're gonna to have a proper firing squad for these bears. Turns out they're really not interested in coming around to the front of the base where I can shoot them. They're more interested in throwing themselves onto cavalry spikes. That's horrifying. Oh, this is really frightening. I don't like this at all. They're just so desperate to be uh, actually anywhere else. They're just, they're just killing themselves. It's like watching the orcas in SeaWorld. This is... This is fucked. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to go out there just to just to put them out of their, their misery at this point. Because that's what this is. This is miserable. One of them is coming over. Okay, squad. Has everybody got a, got a crossbow? Uh, you don't. And you don't. So you, you, should prob you should probably leave. You probably don't want to get into a fist fight with the polar bear. I'll be completely honest with you. <laughs> Um, that's only one of them, though. Oh, right in his brain. What a shot. This could take quite some time. But I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm glad we're fighting polar bears and not bloody foxes. Get out of the way, muffalo. <laughs> Stupid polar bears. Easiest fight of my life. Wow, that was actually easier than the foxes. I can't believe that. Well, hang on. We're not out of the woods yet. Uh, there's one more. Good luck, people. Oh, I don't know if we're going to do it, but good luck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that's made uh, a very simple problem far worse. Thank you. And I think that's it. Well, that was so much easier than the bloody foxes. How on earth is anybody supposed to make wine with these interruptions? Panthers? Again, it, it's not foxes. So, I mean, we really shouldn't be, really shouldn't be that upset about things. Oh, the suicidal panthers. You poor, stupid creatures. Oh. What? Hello? They're learning. Feeling real bad for those garlic savages around now who have been <laughs> outplayed by panthers. <laughs> There's a hole in the wall. I've been outplayed by panthers. Oh, you fool. What is that? The hole goes right into the yaks. No, 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 no. Please, they're not tasty. They're not tasty. They're not tasty. Yak 5. Oh, Yak 5. Poor sweet Yak 5. Oh, you moron. Oh, they're so hungry. My grapes are rotting. What? Hello? <laughs> I wish I knew what was going on. What are they doing? They seem very confused. Uh, okay, here's the plan. We're going to walk out now. And we're just going to like, oh, where, where are we going to fight them? We could fight them here. That would make way more sense. Let's go around the villa. Let's come up here and let's stand there. Oh, they were faster than us by quite a lot, actually. You know what? I think we'll just let our people go butt wild. Because at the end of the day, it's just a few panthers. And panthers have never killed anybody. Except for, say, four who's about to die. Was that genuinely it, though? That really was it, huh? There's two more Panthers out there that have been throwing themselves onto the cavalry spikes again. Okay, Jandiros is good. Baldor is absolutely fine. Maybe we should patch up the holes in the wall. I know that's a weird suggestion, but I feel like it would be better all round for defense. Spend the best part of three episodes working on a wall that <laughs> you could just walk through. This is, this is Remus's fault. Spent hours on this worthless, worthless wine and didn't patch up the bloody hole in the wall. Moron. We should probably dig a hole through here as well. Ooh, Slave 6 is not looking good. Oh my god, it was Slave 6 and Slave 4. Are they okay? Three hours. That's just a little panther bite. Yandere, Dev. Come on. I'm telling you right now that unless this conversion is from friggin' grapes to wine, I'm gonna be pissed. Who is it? Akibiades. Hello, Akibiades. Of all the ways you could have carried the dead husk of that muffalo. Oh, you're not even gonna take it to the freezer. You're just gonna dump it in front of all of its muffalo friends. This is going to happen to you too, Muffalo. Why did the walls on this house keep being smashed down? Are they... Are they trying to fish, but they can't get to this side of the river, so they're smashing the wall down? 
I don't understand. So I've decided we're going to take the dumping stop pile zone and we're going to put it outside of the city walls. And then I'm going to build an actual Senate building because somebody was laughing at my Senate building earlier in Discord and I have a very brittle, bruisable ego. Want to see a fucking Senate building? I'll show you the biggest fucking Senate building you've ever seen. Doesn't matter if it's small. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Everybody says they love my Senate building. You wouldn't know them. They go to a different school. You wouldn't know who it is. Is that the smell of fine ream and wine? 72%. Well, it was closer than I expected, actually. Bobka, what are you doing with those grapes? So to 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 perfect wine production, I have put a passive cooler and then uh, a hippocost or an underground heater, whatever you would like to call it. Uh, and now, as a result, we have equilibrium. Temperature equilibrium. Also, by the way, uh, wasp is under threat, if you're curious. They're going to send three raids of roughly, what is that, 39 people? <laughs> <laughs> That's over a hundred people in total. Uh, I, I don't know about that one, Chief. I'm not sure about that one. Her friend, a 60-year-old lawkeeper named Was, was caught writing vicious insults about Ciela Loco. Ciela Loco cockroaches fashion knowledge. Hmm, I'm not, uh, 1.1 days. Haters will say it's fake. And I will say it's 7 a.m. I would have fought that entire raid single-handedly if I had to. Because sometimes... Even losing his content. Look, they're finished. The tastiest first batch of Riemann wine. Ah, uh, well, actually, before I forget. <laughs> Here it is. This is going to make us that alliance. 20, 25 times 12. <sighs> well, I mean, it's okay. I feel like we should take a bottle from the first batch and put it on display. They don't have to be refrigerated or anything. I mean, it's 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 wine. You would kind of hope not. Oh, he won't pick it up because the ideology forbids drugs. Well, I was going to keep some and put it on display as like a sign of our craftsmanship, but I guess not. Oh, the pool is filled as well. Oh, wowee. I couldn't think of anything better on a cold winter's day. They really love it in here, huh? And that that's a uh, recreation game, right? It's a pretty good recreation game too. So the plan is... We send Bizarro Jesus, who right now is our best social character. Remus would be our best social character, but he doesn't have a jaw, which does make it very difficult to negotiate. We send a shitload of yaks. We send Incitatus and all of the various different crap to sell. Ah, oh, man. It might be worth sending some of these clothes to sell. Weapons is a bit pointless. They might not be interested in it, though. You know what? That'll do. That would do. That would be more than enough. We've only got to make 15,000. I've sent him with a, a shitload of expensive stuff there. And then we hope we get over to Sparta without being commandeered by another caravan. The only one I'm a little bit worried about is the Gallic Savages. Scouting Ream. Oh shit, so they're actually heading for us then. It genuinely might be safer to go onto the road and head straight up to this one here. I think we might do that instead. Oh! A fresh Reeman! Hello! Avidus Thrasilos of Delminion. You are Bobka and Jan Diros' child. Jan Diros says so far I can birth to every single child in the colony. Tiny child, quick sleeper, and a double passion and social and intellectual. That's impressive for a newborn. I suppose I better build a bloody thing a bed. <laughs> Rumors built in a bed, but couldn't be bothered to move it, you know, like the foot over. You moron. There we go. Oh, that's still wrong. But good enough. I've also had to quickly build some winter storage for the grapes because they're all rotting away through here. Um, I guess we'll just say low priority and then get them all hauled over. Come on, bizarro Jesus. Please run faster. Oh, they're here to break Hippocrates out. That's a hell of a scouting party. That's 28 people. That's more than our entire city. <laughs> <laughs> they do have breaching axes too. Man, this kill box has been a complete waste of- Not kill box. Not kill box. Scorpion firing range. It's been a complete waste of time. Days I spent building this wall. Days and days. Right, you're through. Now, come here and get shot. Yeah, I'll actually shoot them though. Fucking hell. Oh, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Incredible. Right, slaves on the front line. Get in there and punch them. Well, this person has a fish. And as a reminder, fish do count as weapons. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Grab the breaching axe. Get in there. Slice away. You come forward. Let's grab that one. And I'm going to bring the actual people back a little bit. No offense, slaves. My fucking pillars! 
Oh, this is war. I mean, it was war anyway, but you know what I mean, right? We're going to have to go up this way then, if you don't mind. I'll have to, I'll have to divert a little bit. Oh, for fuck's sake. They've just turned up to trash the place. Wow, we are absolutely peppering them, mate. Uh, you turn around. You turn around. We're doing a good job. We just need to keep our distance. Oh, Sigma Draconis. For God's sake, you fool. Okay, let's bring you guys down here a little bit more. Remus, you don't have a Gastrafetes, do you? Alec oh, you do. Switch over. Well, we've killed most of the raiders. Unfortunately, we've also killed most of our slaves at this point as well. You, you people suck. Hey, you come down here. You go stab him. Remus, come forward. Get on the front lines. When the fuck are they going to retreat? How many do I have to kill? There we go. Unbelievable. That's every single one of the slaves taken out. Holy shit. Is it permanent damage? 10 conditions, 4 hours, 5 hours, 19 hours, 4 hours. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're pretty fucked. I think that's fairly safe to say. Sigma Draconis is actually fine. Rising is okay too. Oh, look at that. The caravan's arrived. If you don't mind, we'll deal with that in a second. Oh. Okay, well, it's not a big deal. We can we can deal with that. I'm a little bit confused as to why they decided to tend to the slaves before our people. But well, there we go. You two are seriously having a chat about taming newts as our people are people are bleeding out. Well, that's just incredible. Okay, then, Bizarro Jesus. Let's see what we've got for sale. Could sell them the axe. I'm not interested in that. I just need enough silver to give them back. So we're just going to sell them everything. Um, they can't afford it. They can actually afford very little. Oh, good. Okay, okay. We sell them that one first. That's only 1,200. But again, it's a tenth of the way to what we need. After a fun few days of caravanning, Bizarro Jesus has finally arrived. And in the background, I've had some weird shit happen. I sure hope those top two notifications aren't related. Yandere Dev, for a deadly illness, and as a result, developed the beautiful trait. Don't ask. And also... <laughs> <laughs> Yandere Dev and Bobka are now lovers. She commended his animal taming ability. Oh, no. Well, that's another 2,000 gold. We're still nowhere near where we need to be. 0 0.7 days. Okay, we'll run a loop of these and then head back. We're executing Snake. I'm sorry, Snake. Snake wasn't, Snake wasn't very good. Did somebody invite a baby to an execution? <laughs> wasn't even worth it. Awkward. It was 100% quality. Am I dreaming this? And another 2,100? We've taken every single piece of silver from every settlement Sparta has. And we are not even close. Oh, Yandere Dev, good work. Stupid thing to say. She shot that child right across the room. Gnaeus? I have no idea how you say that. Gnaeus Yandere. Oh, God. Intellectual three double passion? Yeah, that sounds about right. And you are Baldor Hammer's child. Good work. He's home. The return of Bizarro Jesus. Oh, God. They've immediately collapsed. So we weren't able to sell the Thrombo Horn because it was way too expensive for anywhere to afford. Genuinely, four cities couldn't afford it. But we've come back with a lot of silver. 2,000 in that one. 1,253, 2,135. Okay, this is good. Still nowhere near where we need it to be, but it's good. All of that. All of that. And we've got 10,075 out of 17,000. <sighs> we could take another trip. I don't know if they'll have regenerated enough money yet to head out there. And it's exceptionally dangerous, but we could go to that one. And oh, we didn't go to that one before. Might be better just to go straight to the capital, I'll admit. Maybe we just ally with Carthage at this point. Maybe we, just, maybe we just ally with them. I mean, they really haven't done that much wrong. What do they do? They kidnap Romulus, but then he joined them anyway. So, really, he's the, the bigger bitch in that situation. Send him again. Send him again. Send him with a whole fleet of yaks. Every single one of them. Well, they, the, the calves can't really carry much, so I won't send that. Send him with, with all of them. Every yak. I want you to take everything that isn't nailed down. I accidentally mined too many marble blocks. What's that? Wasn't that? That's not worth very much. We'll take those as a, a very last, last resort. 116 wine. 116 times trial. That's still not enough. But it's it's a good amount. I'll take the thrombo horn and I guess just sell it for whatever we can get. They want to buy fecal sludge? No. 
Copper only weighs eight grams and is two dollars each. So that's two thousand right there, and it barely scratches the caravan's surface. What an awful metaphor. Uh, send them for the same reason. Send them with the tin. It's so light. Bronze. Bronze is worth a fortune. Send them out with that. This bronze isn't worth nearly as much, but it's still worth quite a lot. And I guess that'll do it. We got enough meals. He's taking a lot of lentils and a lot of milk. Okay, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Off you go. Here's a little parenting advice for those of you out there, maybe expecting parents, maybe new parents. Do not leave your newborn baby in the snow. <laughs> well, they'll go nicely with all the other colony children who are missing chunks. Ah! They keep walking around. I can't stop them. They just decide to go walk around outside in the fucking freezing cold. Okay, after a very, very, very long journey, we finally arrived at Athens instead. You guys want to buy some wine? Please buy my fucking wine. Oh! How are you people so broke? What sort of shitty settlement can't afford 116 bottles of wine? Brilliant. Okay, sure. Um, well, let's move on then to the next Athenian settlement. Just trying to get up to... 20,000 silver. 1,300 silver at a time. <sighs> and after another few hours of trading, here we are. Home sweet home. I wasn't able to sell the, sell the leather. Jandiros got fired, and now we have Remus. Ah, oh, swapping it around again, are we? You don't want to get accused of corruption too much by having the same leader consistently. So if you keep swapping it around, no one will ever know. And after trading with Athens, what did we end up with? 16,000 silver. How much silver do we need to ally with Sparta permanently? 16,130 silver. We're 50 off. We get it from the quarry. Please tell me we can get it. Could we just get it from the quarry? Could we just get it from the quarry, though? I'm going to get everybody to work in the quarry. Hey, everybody, quarry time. You can get silver from the quarry. I just checked, but it's as rare as gold. So, um, it's probably going to take a little while. Oh, we converted someone, though. It's quite nice. Okay, hear me out. Big brain idea. Maybe they unloaded a yak at the edge of the map somewhere. Oh, we have some. 1,100... Whoa, whoa, whoa. How much was it? 1,155. We can fucking do it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> ah. Declaring a formal alliance with the faction has the following effects. We pay 16,000 in tribute. Sets relations to maximum between you and any other allied faction. Allied faction will send larger trade caravans. Unless allied factions will focus their resources on the destruction of factions you're at war with. Yes, good. A formal alliance will be ended by any hostile action that reduces relations with this faction below ally. Got it. Oh my god, we've done it. Riemann Empire has forged an alliance with Sparta. Sparta has forged an alliance with the Riemann Empire. Thank you. That is some good shit. Now, Athens and Sparta are also allied. Look, ally of Sparta, ally of Athens. Doesn't say that we're allied, which is a bit concerning. I guess it works on a different system for us, right? So tomorrow, if we can somehow pull off an alliance with Athens as well, just going out there and trading up to the 16,000 silver might be enough to raise them up that high anyway. We're already at plus 20. If we do another quest for them or something like that, two formal alliances, then we go boom, war with Carthage. They're going to dedicate their resources to that faction power of 252,000 I mean look between these two and us we've more than got enough my god so tomorrow we gain an alliance with Athens we will I'm not going to stop until we do and then the war with Carthage can really begin we're gonna we're gonna actually declare formal war rather than just this weird hostile state we've got going on and then we will prove once and for all who is better Reem or Carthage and that goddamn traitor uh, Romulus. That's his name, Romulus. And assuming some careful editing this time around, you won't even be aware of the fact that I spent the majority of this episode in the background trying to speak to my ISP about fixing my internet. And it's like getting blood from a stone. We're speaking two different languages. I, uh, I mean, probably very literally in real life, but holy shit, it, it was trying to decipher biblical writing. I, I have no idea what they were saying. This was some lost, forgotten text. I need the Rosetta Stone of the tech world to be able to work out what they were saying. And it's driven my blood pressure to heights never before seen. So thank God this was a nice, relaxing episode. Ah, <sighs> Thank you as well to this B. Willis, Jack Blacksheep, Asana Kurito, 
The Aronidas, Mercury, Out of All Context, Roan, Master Rob, Brambio, The Incredible Gurren, Average Nobody, Mothman, and Ziggy117. That's never happened before. Why did the screen go black? Thank you all for your support. <laughs> That's kind of frightening, isn't it? Thank you as well to SparkyFan1, This Flex, The Gentleman Ghostronaut, Shatulski, Gavin, Plondo, Larry, The Emu, Pim, Omegador, Jexel, Foxy Cogs, Ebon Dragon, 323, and Astros Fan, 12345.